dumbass. I'm an idiot. One of my biggest regrets is I waited till I was 26 years old to get serious about my shit. There's one simple solution to it. Now. Good morning, brothers. Today we're going to briefly talk about slipping on the weekends. This is for those of you who are like, oh my God, I do well during the week, but you know, I slip. I'm still slipping once a week, right? I'm still slipping once a week. Like it's the week's fault. Well, here's the thing. You actually believe that it's the week's fault. We're going to talk about that. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Welcome to another episode of Porn Reboot Coach in the Porsche. I am the founder of Elevated Recovery and head coach of the Porn Reboot Coaching System. We help ambitious, high-performing business owners, entrepreneurs, and professionals discreetly end their secret out-of-control behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation. I still slip once a week. Those of you who are trying to end your behavior with pornography. Now, there's some guys who slip during the week, but there are a lot of guys who slip during the weekend. And this is very common when you're transitioning from the early stage of your reboot to the middle stage of your reboot. What happens is that you don't have shit to do on the weekend. Your weekends are weeks for relaxing. Our days, excuse me, for relaxing. During the week, you can stick with the schedule, you can stay busy, you can stay focused, you can even go to bed early. Why? Because you got your employer or you got your business. This is flicking the, the whip, right? Cracking the whip on you to give you that external motivation to maintain. But when the weekend comes, then you are exposed for what you are. You are an individual who does not have a mission, who probably doesn't have a purpose and needs an external motivator like a job or like a business or something like that to be disciplined. And that's the bottom line. There's one simple solution to it. Now, if you're sitting there going like, what? I need the weekends to unwind, then you're probably not a person who would benefit greatly from what we do here at Porn Reboots. This is not for people who take the weekends off. This is for high performers. It doesn't mean that high performers do not take time off. I take my Mondays off. When I say my Mondays are off, it means that you could be dying, right? You could be a client dying and try to reach me. You're gonna die, probably, yeah? When I say I take my Mondays off, I take my Mondays off because I fucking deserve it. Because by the time Sunday evening rolls around, I'm cranking, sometimes I'm cranking 90 hours. And I'm going like, yeah, you know, I was doing eight. When I say 90 hours, I mean actual fucking work. So the weekend is not for unwinding. If you have not accomplished your major goals, if you have not reached a certain level of mastery when it comes to different areas of your reboot capital, if you got like a little belly, you don't have, you can't see your abs, you've never seen your abs, but you want to, if you're overweight and out of shape, if you're not in a relationship, but you want to be in one, if you are broke and you're not where you want to be financially, and even not, not where you want to be financially, but if you're not in a place where you can take care of your immediate needs and you still feel a need for financial security, if mentally and emotionally your shit is not together, brother, a little self-care at the beginning of the day, middle of the day, end of the day, but your ass better be doing something. I'm not saying you should be going into work, but your weekends should not be wide open because that's where the fucking devil lives, on that white space in your calendar, all right? So, I'll give you an example. In my world, for most brothers in the intensive program, we have an implementation program and intensive programs, the weekends are just not, they're not relevant, right? There's nothing special about it. The only thing that's relevant to me on the weekend is just like, oh, you know, Saturday and Sunday, some real estate that I wanna purchase, they might have an open house. <laughs> That's, that's the only thing that's like, you know, kind of relevant to me or some business partners or something I want to do that has to do with my businesses, one of them. The only way you can reach those individuals or that business or transact that deal is on, is on a weekend. But aside from that, there's nothing special. It's just another work day. Today's a Saturday when I'm shooting this video, right? So I'm going straight back. I worked out at the gym, got a mm, nice pump in. Got a nice pump in, and now I'm going back. I'm gonna read a little bit, it's more like studying. This week I just got like a whole brand new certification. They were like, you can do this certification over a year. I told the instructor, can we do it in a, 
Is there like an intensive version? He's like, yeah, but after your work day, are you going to be able to crank out five, six hours for this certification? I was like, let's do it. How long will it take for me to complete it? He's like, you, you can finish it in a week. So that's what I've been doing for the past week. So it's been crazy. So I admit, I woke up a little bit later today. All right. I slept like seven and a little over seven and a half hours. I, I won't lie. I slept seven hours and 50 minutes, which is unusual. That's a really nice sleep in. My girl was excited. She was like, I woke up before you. <laughs> she was excited that I was sleeping. She's like, I could actually watch you sleep. I was like, you are fucking creepy, lady. You're watching me sleep. But she doesn't get to see me doing that because I'm, I'm up. Right? She'll see me sleep at night, but she doesn't see me sleeping peacefully in the morning because I'm gone. But I'm going to go back and it's just going to be a regular day, right? We got meetings with the, just so you know, kind of some of the things that happen. I got meetings with Reboot Hero and my operations guy. Yeah, they work weekends too. Um, Dr. Rankin has coffee with Dr. Rankin with the brothers in the intensive program. You just bring a coffee, chit chat about your life shit with Dr. Rankin that I got to study. I already said that. And then God, I got a lot of shit to do. Right, got to prep for the dating reboot program that's launching. Shoot a couple of modules for that. It's gonna be busy. Tomorrow is another full schedule. All right. So, gentlemen, the point is, don't let your weekends, don't keep your weekends loose. All right. Treat them like every other day. Now, if you need a day off, pick a day off. Okay. If your day off is gonna be Saturday, do so. If you work from home and you have a certain level of flexibility, I highly recommend that you negotiate Mondays off. There's a reason to negotiate Mondays off, if you can, because you can do all the shit you want to do in peace, right? In the afternoon, gym is empty, right? You can go see a fucking movie in the middle of the day. It's only you in the theater. I mean, it's just quiet out in general, right? Compared to the weekend, you're not standing in line for shit, right? Everyone else is rushing and your pace is just like, it's slow, right? It's just super slow. You get the Monday off, you start off. I love, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Try it out. It, it'll feel weird at first. I mean, if you can, of course. And then see if it works for you. But ultimately, if you haven't accomplished goals that you need to accomplish when it comes to different areas of your weekend, capital brothers do not take the weekend off. All right. There are people who are way more talented, who are way more intelligent, IQ wise, and there are people who are way more skilled at you that are taking, they are eating up the pie. All right. The truth is, there is enough to go around for everybody, but you're going to see more and more people eating up that pie, winning in life. And time flies, guys. Next year, I'm going to be fucking 40 years old. Right. And one of my biggest regrets, hear this, hear this. One of my biggest regrets is I waited till I was 26 years old to get serious about my shit. I'll say it again. One of my biggest regrets is that I waited until I was 26 years old to start taking care of my shit. Because at 26, I started realizing, once I got serious, I was like, fuck, I'm a dumbass. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I came up with nothing. I came up from poverty, and I was an addict, and I, I sucked at school. Like, I was getting Fs. I, was, I had low self-esteem. So many po- things in my life were fucked up. And at 26, I'm just like waking up. I had a long way to go. Guys, 26, 27, 28, 29. I was just building a foundation, just cranking and failing, cranking and failing. God, I don't have self-discipline. God, I don't have the energy to do this. And I was getting older, right? I was fighting against, you guys don't fucking get this shit, right? When you are in your 20s and early 30s, you don't you don't feel it you think you're gonna live forever right you know you're not gonna live forever but there's this expansiveness of time you feel like oh, there's there's time there's time and so you don't feel a sense of urgency on the weekends you just don't feel it the weekends come and you're like I gotta relax. relax from what what have you exerted yourself in right do you think your ancestors had the liberty to Relax on the weekends, right? Relax for what, guys? Even a lot of you ancestors only took the Sabbath off, right? They only took one day off. The rest of the day, their ass was in the farm. The rest of the day, their ass was trading for war or at war. The rest of the day, their ass was on the road, traveling or at the market, right? Guys, I don't even know how to express this deep enough. 
if you're in recovery, you're doing the traditional recovery thing, this is not going to make sense. Nobody in your circle is going to co-sign this because they're going to tell you, you know, you're trying to recover shit that you lost, right? Like, dude, just don't listen to this dude. He's unusual. You know, just, just, you know, if you can get back to life without using this substance, if you can get back to life without engaging in this out of control behavior, and just, you know, do your Monday to Friday, bro. Self-care, relax on the weekend, spend time with your family. Many of you are one emergency, one emergency away from your entire lapse, entire life collapsing and going right back to that out of control behavior you've been trying to run away. Because on the weekends, the time you should be using to get ahead, the time you should be working on that second hustle, the time you should be building up those skill sets, you're not fucking doing it, all right? That's the reason why you're slipping on the weekends because you're stretched during the week, weekend comes, you release it, immediately your brain gets a signal that says, it's time to, to relax, it is time that I am deserving of dopamine. Unfortunately for you, you are a man who's recovering from an out of control sexual behavior. So anytime that there is time and there is opportunity to release dopamine, and there is no clear end period for that within a few hours, your brain is wired to go to the highest level of dopamine release, which is high-speed internet pornography for you, all right? So brothers, you know what to do. Fill your weekends up, all right? You want to chat more with me? Hit me up in the comments below. Love and appreciate you guys. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to go park this vehicle. Crush today. Have a wonderful day, guys.